Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan, today's show is brought to you by the good folks at Mosey Pro. This is the Android Tech Show episode number 64. Yeah, that's right, 64 bits of awesome. No, we got the HTC Resound review today. Pretty nice little phone here. I think I like it, folks. It beats everything. This is the Android Tech Show. Every week we bring you the latest news in Android-based technology. To join the conversation and watch live, visit theandroidtechshow.com. Now, let's start the show. All Welcome right, to the show, everybody. Yes, this is oh. the 64th episode. I wanted to make like some remixed 64-bit sounding, With or 8-bit sounding, I guess. Pay no attention to the... Mm, to the clock in the background. The clock or the Android, Google Or TV the logo, the, the other logo we had back there. Hmm. Uh, this week, though... Uh, we're doing a straight up review of the HTC Resound. Uh, if you want some uh, CES it's, 2012 coverage, make sure you uh, check out the Android app show. It's been resoundingly positive. Yes, resoundingly positive reviews on the internet. Except for this Google TV thing not working. <laughs> uh, it's Google TV. You learn to hate it. That's right. Intel. It's the Intel version of Google TV. Yes. You love I it. have hope for the Qualcomm slash... Uh, other ARM chip versions of it. All right, so let's get into uh, this review. What do you think? Yeah, unless you want to do an ad first. Uh, well, you know what? We do have a sponsor this week. Yeah, we do. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, we don't have a sponsor every week, but when we do... It goes all out. <laughs> yeah, this week, uh, it's Mosey Pro. Yeah, they're they're good. They're, I, like, I like some of their stuff. I like... Their pro stuff, especially. Yeah, a little bit different of a product from the regular Mosey, um, but you know what? Mm-hmm. It's that experience with the regular Mosey that's allowed them to build this system. Yeah, no kidding. So yeah, so when it comes to running a successful business, uh, there's a lot of things that you have to get right. Uh, you know, getting your business structure set up, hiring the right people, uh, making sure you have enough people on staff, and that you turn your lights on. Yeah, and keeping track of all your equipment. Yeah, that's a big so, deal. I mean, do you know that over 12,000 laptops are stolen from airports every week? Every single really? week. That's crazy. That is a lot. That's that is a lot. A, of for, that is a, all over the world. A ton. Yeah. Well, all over the world, yeah. Yeah, it's not just our airport. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was at the Jackson Airport. 12,000. Yeah, like, Jeez. Dang, I didn't even know they used <laughs> that <laughs> still. <laughs> Farmers really have a hankering for laptops. Man. <laughs> um, of course, that's what it is. <laughs> Um, but uh, when you couple that with another statistic that, um, if your business loses data for more than 10 days, there's a 50% chance that you're not coming back, that you're going to, that that business is going to go into bankruptcy. Yeah. So, I mean, backing up is a pretty integral part of any responsible business. Uh, and in fact, the, the hard thing is finding a service that is going to make it easy for you. And Mosey Pro makes it unbelievably easy to back up information that's not only on just the device, but on connected hard drives. So like USB hard drives and everything. Yeah. All gets backed up. Super yeah. simple. And uh, we, we have a little story here about uh, Lauren, who is a small business owner. She used to work in IT, but then she uh, you know wanted to just walk some dogs. So she started a dog walking and grooming business and um, and daycare facility. All can in you, one. Can you do that? Dog boarding and... Oh, dog boarding and daycare. Not dog grooming and child daycare. No. That would be... And like awkward. I've been saying, though, have the kids do the work. Right. Um, but she backed, up, she backed up her whole business on external hard drives. And if you're like me, you know the problem with external hard drives. Over on that desk over there, I've got a stack of them. Half of them do not work anymore. Oof. Because they're so cheap and they just die. Yeah. Because I like to buy the cheap ones. Oh, it was on uh, sale. Yeah. I wonder why. It was, only, it was only 70 bucks for two <laughs> two terabytes. Wow. Yeah. What a great deal. crazy. Clearance. Why is it on clearance? I have no idea. Let's buy two, you know, just in case one fails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they will fail. Yeah. So, uh, but Mosey Pro is there. So she said, that's it. I can't have this again. 
uh, I choose Mosey Pro for its simplicity, automatic scheduling, and wonderful customer service. Nice. The nice. files just upload and finish. Like, and you can't you can't beat the automatic, and it works automatically on you know whether it's a PC or a Mac, and that's nice. You right. Don't, yeah. Yeah, it just works. Um, so if your business is not backed up um, with Mosey Pro, you really have to question if your business is backed up at all. Yeah, because we know what happens. What's your solution? An on-site, you know, all this stuff, and how often are you doing it? Is it automatic? I don't know. If you want to set your mind to ease, give our friends at Mosey a call. They've been doing this a long time, mm-hmm. and they run the most secure, most trusted online backup service out there. Uh, but not only that, if you want to support the show and you want to save some money to try out the service, yeah, uh, you can save 15% right now if when you sign up for the service, you use the code podcast15, that's podcast, and then the number's one, five. Yep. And also, uh, if, you, if you're old school and want to give them a phone call on the good old ringer, that is uh, 877-669-9776. Once again, 877-669-9776. Or visit moseypro.com. That's M O Z Y Pro dot com podcast fifteen. Thanks everybody. Thanks for Mosey. Yeah, I used to think that was silly, you know, to have the number back up or whatever, but like, you know, mm-hmm. they just have that giant outage of Verizon data service all over the country. I know. So your phone was essentially not a smartphone no matter what it was. <laughs> you could just rely on the phone calls. All right. Let's review the HTC Resound. Yeah. This is a badass phone. I'm just going to come out and say it. It's This is pretty badass. Yeah. Uh, as far as, you know, for my money right now, I'm it's not talking to, about announced phones or anything like that. Like right now, if you want an HTC phone, uh, which a lot of people don't like Samsung phones, HTC, this is probably the best phone that you can get for my really? money. Yes. I'm going to go that far. Okay. It scared me. It's It is scary to me, too. Because, like... When I see something licensed by a company that sells overpriced products, like Beats Beats by Monster Cables, and we all, I mean, if you're a techie guy, you know... Monster Cables the, are a giant crock. You know the fallacy of Monster Cables. Yes. So oh, we got a HTC Resound preview up on here, too. Up on Verizon. Yeah, <laughs> got the mirror effect. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So how much is this thing on Verizon? It is, um, it's not cheap, well, but it's not expensive. Yeah. It's one ninety nine with a two-year contract. That's pretty good. I think Verizon's been backing off that two ninety nine price point. Yeah. Uh, coming down to one ninety nine, a little bit more, re- uh, you know, reasonable. Here's a tip, though. If you go to Amazon, one forty nine. Ooh. Still not wow. a great deal, though. Yeah, a lot of the Amazon phones are usually like 50 bucks or a dollar. Yeah, or a penny. Yeah. Some of them. Oh, wow. Uh, but again, this is an HTC phone. Uh, I'm a big fan of HTC. The latest Nexus phone, which you could get, has more updated software than this. Of course, mm-hmm. the official build from Google. Uh, you can also get that on Verizon right now. I'm just throwing that out there because most of you tech geeks already know that. So, yes, I know. Uh, but this is HTC and the Galaxy Nexus is Samsung. So, mm-hmm. you know, you got to kind of weigh <laughs> which way you want to go. Right. So, that. what did you like about this phone? Uh, well, let me. If we got, do we have a camera shot we can pull pull down right no. here and we'll talk about some of the ports? Okay, this has an MHL port. Plastic bag over there in the corner. Yeah, kick that so. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll just change it to what part of the screen? But this has an MHL port, which functions as both a power port and the HDMI out. Uh, but you have to buy a dongle that plugs into this if you want to use it for HDMI out. Dongle. Yeah. Uh, like it reminds me it's of the the G1. Uh, the G1 had one port on the bottom, and it was for headphones and power, uh-huh. which was a total. You had to use the headphones that came with it, or at least the adapter, and yeah, all kinds of stupid stuff. It has a volume rocker right here, and on the top is sleep wake. And a little port for your headphones. Hmm. So your standard kind of stuff. Uh, the volume rocker on this, uh, I like to bring this up every time, does not change when you go into landscape mode. 
So this way, portrait is just fine. Up is up, down is down. Uh, but when you're in landscape watching a video and you think, I want to turn the volume up, it's probably the right side because, you know, on the screen the volume goes up that way. Nope, this will turn the volume down and the left side turns the volume up. It's crazy. It's crazy. It has a set of uh, capacitive function buttons along the bottom. Those are cool. They're red. It's that Beats branding, all the red buttons. Uh, they look kind of like the Droid Incredible Choose buttons, uh, but when you turn it in into landscape it doesn't change it doesn't change and i'll even bring up internet explorer to try no. and address that you can't really see away? them well i don't know they didn't go away they're just are they always red all the time yes yeah they don't they're change there's no no specialness to them or if anything if you turn the screen off do they go away yes okay yeah. no they don't you can still see them hmm. huh. not as bright though are they or no they're just yeah, right there they are. it's yeah. just the camera angle it's hard to get a good angle right. in here sometime um but the camera is on here speaking of camera angle yeah uh this has a 1080p slash 8 megapixel rear camera oh, back sexy. here with the dual led flash and let's it's see an, it's actually a good camera yeah let me pull up the gallery here so we can see a couple of the pictures that you just took yeah So some pretty exquisite shots mm -hmm. on here. Nice. Uh, the the clarity, the focus does really well mm -hmm. for things that are close up and far away. It doesn't feel like the color balance is off too much. No, and it changed quite quite quickly because we have different lighting in the studios intentionally, yeah. like different color balances, and it adjusted when I moved around. It was pretty crazy. There's some studio shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of me looks particularly bad. Yeah. <laughs> clear, though. Very clear. Yeah. And the other good thing, too, uh, it has a uh, 720p slash uh, 2 megapixel front facing camera. Oh, really? So you can do high definition video chatting on this bad boy here. That's nice. Take 720p video, just looking at yourself in high definition. Beautiful. It's good stuff. Uh, and the other good thing about that, uh, having that high definition anyway, is that the screen is a 720p screen. It's an SLCD screen. HD on both ends. Yes, uh, an HD looking at it. This is just, uh, you know, it's not going to show up on the on the show here because we're <laughs> not broadcasting in HD. Yeah. Uh, but just like the all the different elements on here are just really sharp. They sparkle. Uh, really clear. And really responsive. I mean, it doesn't look like the pentile displays where you have the weird jaggedness mm -hmm. and letters and stuff, you know, and straight lines. And for pushing that, that have, many, for pushing that many pixels, that's that's a pretty yeah, big deal. very very responsive. Um, I I like it. Four point three inch screen. Uh, my favorite, you know, the four point five inches or four point six fives are fine. Five point five. Um, but I don't want to get too much bigger than that for a phone. Uh, four point three inches is feels real nice in your hand. It's easy to handle. So let's get down to the internals then. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing support, uh, supports a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Adreno processor. Uh, it's not a Tegra processor or whatever, but for dual core, for my money, uh, the anything that isn't Tegra for dual core on a phone is um, my preference. So... But when we get to tablets, it's a little different. And when we get to quad core, that's a little different too. I'm back with you, NVIDIA, on the quad cores. Um, uh, it also has one gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, one gigabyte of RAM. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting ditzy, I guess. Gigabits. 16 gigs of internal storage. Uh, it has a micro SD slot, so you mm -hmm. can expand that out. Uh, and it comes with 4G LTE Nice on Verizon. Solid. So pretty good stuff. Uh, the software it's running is Android 2.3.4, which is gingerbread for you kids that are counting at home. Uh, HTC says it's going to be updated to Ice Cream Sandwich in early 2012, uh, which sounds like the first half, uh, probably not the first, I don't know, first quarter maybe. So mm -hmm. it's kind of up in the air. But this phone will get Ice Cream Sandwich. It will be updated. So, uh, again, you could go with the Galaxy Nexus, which has it now, or you just wait a little bit and you'll get Ice Cream Sandwich when HTC is done adding all the crap to it that they want to add. Uh, this comes with Sense 3.5. Speaking of the crap they want to add, uh, 
which does add several great features. If we want to pop back over to the uh, preview on the unlock screen here, uh, you have this button that you drag up to unlock. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, but say you want to like it. go into any one of these other apps, you grab phone and drag Boom. it down to the button. Pops. And you are right inside your dialer. I'm looking at Lane's phone numbers. Yeah. I'm in your phone looking at your phone numbers. Like Camera, Le- messages, like, and mail too. You're like Leo Laporte over there. That's cool. Pulls right in. <laughs> and then you get the camera. Watch out. <laughs> uh, you didn't get my joke. I don't know. You called me a Leo Laporte. I thought I should be offended by it. What was the joke? You don't want to know. Okay. So the camera too, I guess I should mention this. It comes with some cool built-in effects. Oh. So you can play around with it, you know, without having to download it. Wait, does that app. convert the, the keyboard into Braille? No. No. That would be that's funny. That's crazy. Vintage, you know, some of those that's Instagram cool. effects. Yeah. A little fun, little Photoshoppy stuff. Right. You know, but automatic. Yeah. I like so, it. That's cool. So, uh, again, that's a sense is probably going to be updated when they do the update for uh, ice cream sandwich. So, what's the verdict here? Uh, I've got five points that I wanted to cover. Five. This MHL port can uh, consolidates the HDMI and the power port, uh, which sounds great, but I don't like the feature. Um, mm-hmm. You have to buy an adapter to output to your television. Your phone just doesn't do it automatically when you buy it. Unless you have a TV that supports that kind of port. Because with, I believe so. I believe some of the newer TVs actually provide power over that port, ah. the HDMI kind of port. Well, for me, I don't know. It, I don't like it. But you need to buy a new TV. Maybe too. in the future. Yeah, when I have a, a newer TV, I just got it last year. But oh, that's old. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, it's a nice thin LED TV, though. It's good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, my evil outputs outputs to TVs once rooted, and uh, a lot of these. Uh, Tegra powered phones uh, Mm -hmm. automatically, you know, work doing the screen mirroring, Uh, just using a standard micro HDMI cable. uh, And I have the option to charge the phone while using it. I don't have to. An MHL port requires that you charge the phone while using the HDMI out feature. So not only do you have to be X, you know, a certain amount of feet close to your TV and plug it in, Mm -hmm. you have to be a certain amount of feet close to an open plug. Once you do that to even use the, you have to have both of them. Yes. For the MHL to work. Yeah. Again, like I said earlier, this reminds me of the G1, which had the headphone and power ports consolidated in, into one. <laughs> and I had to buy a splitter, you know, to listen to stuff and charge it at the same time, which you always had to charge that phone. Yeah. So if you wanted to use the headphones, you had to get the splitter because otherwise you just burn up the battery. And then the splitter would go bad. You know, even if it's an HTC branded one, it's, you mm-hmm. know, it just was a piece of crap. So very bad experience. I don't like this. You know, I think that the video and charging ports should be separate. You think HTC would have learned? Yeah, you'd think they would have, but somebody, you know, crapped their pants and forgot their name. Uh, Point number two for this phone on the verdict. The screen is great. Absolutely great. Uh, This is one of the best screens I've ever seen on a phone. Uh, you know, the, you know, we're not going to talk about the iPhone, what it, its strengths and weaknesses. This is a higher resolution display though, and yeah. it's not pentile. Yeah. So very excellent screen. Number three, Beats Audio headphones are included. This is a great marketing strategy. Whatever you happen to think about the Beats, you know, headphones oh, and yeah. Monster and stuff. A lot of people like them, you know, it's red. It's like what the, fashion. It's like what the iPhone used to be. Lady Gaga. You know, you'd see the white headphones and stuff. Now you see the red and stuff, you know, they're beats and they're yeah. expensive. So yeah. it's kind of a, you know, it's a status thing. It comes status with the phone. You pay $200 for the phone with your contract and you get these nice expensive headphones. That are people love usually that. $150 alone. Yes. Uh, point number four is the convergence of design by HTC. This is great. Now, this is the ultimate convergence between the HTC Incredible, which is uh-huh. uh, the back and uh, the button design on the front right here. Yeah. And uh, the G2, which came out on T-Mobile first, or the Thunderbolt, which had a lot of that strong uh, similar design that the G2 had. So this top speaker, uh, the design of the bezel and everything uh, it takes from that. And instead of being metal, it's plastic, though, more huh. like the... Droid Incredible, and the back has been modified a little bit so that you have that Droid Incredible uh, stuff on the top, Ledge. but the bottom is kind of It's topographic. Chinned. 
It's kind of like a very calm down G1 mm. little chin action down here. Um, but this is beautiful. I like where HTC is going. Uh, the more I look at it, you know, if you if you see a phone like this, you think, you know, they could just shrink up the bezel on the top a little bit. On the bottom, the bezel will disappear when they go to ice cream sandwich and start doing on-screen yeah. buttons. Uh, this this phone is very close to having no bezel. Uh, this is the kind of way I'd like to go. You know, a little bit thicker phone, that's fine with me, uh, but no bezel. The Droid Razor kind of went the other way. Mm-hmm. Thicker bezel, thinner phone. I so. really, I really like the phone. The thing that I don't like about it is, like... I'm not a fan of this textured back. Yeah, that's a little weird. It is. This is why they call it the Beats. Yeah, because you can do a remix. Mm. Beats! <laughs> you can include it with your beatboxing uh, <laughs> activities. Uh, so my final point is, the geek in me says don't buy this phone. Yeah? When you can get the most up-to-date version of Android directly from Google with the Galaxy Nexus. Yes. But the geek in me is confused because the Galaxy Nexus is a Samsung phone. And mm-hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of Samsung. I like HTC really? a lot more. Oh, they're a lot more friendly to hacking. And mm-hmm. Samsung phones, you know, some of the encryption stuff that they did to the uh, storage yeah. on the device and stuff. Oh, and battery is just, yeah, it, Battery not being able to be replaced. This bag comes off of this. So, you know, That's I don't cool. know. Samsung kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So if you're going to root... I'd probably go with this right here. Cool. Um, if you just don't like Samsung or whatever for whatever reason, then again, I highly recommend this mm-hmm. device. It's cool. Big time. Especially if you want some Beats headphones. And you're like, you know what? I could two for one, a phone and headphones. Yeah. So why not? Good point. But the, the Scent software on here, I showed the unlock screen, but... They really updated a bunch of stuff. You can switch to recent apps on here, do quick settings in your notification drop down. So there's, you know, there's all kinds of different reasons to go, whether Galaxy Nexus or this HTC Resound. Um, but I will say this for my final word. Uh, if you're buying a new phone right now on Verizon, for my money, it is either the Galaxy Nexus or the HTC Resound. Like those are the two best phones. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Cool. That uh, that was a great review. It was awesome. I thought so. You know, yeah. I might be biased. I mean, <laughs> it's easy to do a good review when you have a good phone. Yeah, I'm telling you, the screen is what gets me. Yeah, I mean, it's just clear. The There's ca- something about not being able to see those pixel edges. Yeah, that and make the camera. You feel good. The camera is what really surprised me on that. Well, and you're a stickler for that. I am. I was kind of surprised when you took a picture and then you said that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to give up my professional camera for that. Whatever. <laughs> but it, it's a great little... Yeah, little if you app. had an iPhone 4S, you wouldn't give up your professional camera. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's an interesting quandary for you. iPhone 4S. Like if somebody said, give me that camera, I'll give you an iPhone 4S. Hmm. Considering the camera costs... Eight times more than the iPhone. Oh, that camera. Okay. Right. I never mind. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do it. I'd say, no. uh, maybe not today. <laughs> That's true. Now the equivalent of number of iPhones for price. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to think about that. Until next week, though. Yeah, you could make a hat that could take several different angles. <laughs> using oh yeah, yeah. IPhones. It could be like a live streaming <laughs> continuously. Like, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, well. You could do that with all the tablets and everything we have in the room right now. <laughs> or I could just put them all in a grid and take one photo, at, like, at once, and yeah. stitch it all together. Nice. Make, like, a 20 million megapixel camera. Stitched. And yeah, it changes when you diff- view it from different angles on a 3D TV or Whoa. something. Whoa! It's the future. It's amazing. It's, it is the future now. All right. Well, uh, All right. the future yeah. is an end to this show. So if you want more of this stuff, Android Tech Show, theandroidtechshow.com is the place to find it. Yeah. If you want to hear from us on Twitter, we're posting links telling you about big news. It's twitter.com slash Android Tech Show. Android Tech Show. And then if you want more great stuff, we're on YouTube. And that is simply right at the bottom there, youtube.com slash Android Tech Show. And if you like, you know, these independent kind of podcasts, there's a bunch Mm -hmm. of other people doing it just like we are. 
doing their own thing at blueberry.com. That's blueberry with no ease dot com. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good times. It's the end of another show. That's right. And make sure you check out the Android app show for app mm -hmm. reviews yeah. and our uh, what's important about CES this year coverage. Yeah, we played around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It's cool. All right. We'll see you guys later. Have a good week. Done. Wow. And it's like almost early. Yeah, well, it's early for... <laughs> for Normally, dude, it's 10.30. I know. And the night is... Yeah. I love this. I might actually get to sleep tonight. Can I... If I don't wake up at like 2 in the morning, freaked out. Right? Sweating, that's an idea. Which I did twice last week. No, only once. <laughs> <laughs>